Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome back to, I get to play my favorite game of all time, it's Civ 4. We're playing as uh, Churchill of England. Uh, we're sharing a continent with India, the Khmer, and Korea. I'm mostly worried about what might be going on in the other continent, since that's where I expect, um, well, I guess we could check. That's where I expect the Oracle probably got built. Although I suppose if we just didn't have, we don't have vision of cities, so it could still be on this continent. I don't know, but I'm kind of worried that what if the other continent is snowballing like crazy and that would be poor. Anyway, we've got a worker over by York. What we should do is a little bit of food math over here to figure out if I should be building a farm here or if I can start cottaging up. Because in general, you want to build as many cottages as possible. Com cottages give you commerce. Um, commerce gives you science effectively. And the sooner you build the cottages, the better, because as they get worked, they grow from cottage to hamlet to village to town, and they're worth more and more and more commerce, which is really good. But we need to make sure there's enough food for the city to grow. So all in all, what we really want is, if you, assuming you want the city to be maximum size, you want every single tile to equal out to two food because that's how much you need to sustain population. Any tiles that give you bonus food means you can run some at a bit of a deficit. Um, then, if, you know, you get overlapping things and things change a little bit in terms of math. Um, fairly productive. I think we might mine these two and get a production boost here because we might need to build an army and go south with it. This might be a, a higher production town. And if we mine this, then yeah, there's not going to be that much food. We might want to get one farm. If nothing else, I might want to get a farm here because later on when we get a better technology, it'll spread irrigation, which will spread irrigation to this farm and make it more productive. So I think I should build at least one more. And then after that, we might consider mostly focusing on cottages in that area. Okay, settler trained in London. I think we can probably start the Axeman's Spam, and in fact, we can tell there's a barbarian town over there that has happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and send the settler down here. I think that's still gonna be a great spot for a city. In terms of this worker, actually what we should do is we should road up through here to make sure the horses are connected to our trade network so that we can go and build mounted units. We've chopped that, which gave us a bit of a boost. I think I'm going to road up to this city, get it connected to the network. And we do need the hunting if we want to be able to take advantage of the ivory. Why, why do you want me to build a warrior? There's no reason for me to build a warrior. We're going to keep spamming out axes here. And the goal is going to be to set up a stack that can go and take this barbarian city. In fact, I can probably go and park a unit there now. Well, we'll scooch up anyway and then see what how things look like. We got some spearmen. I think it's time to maybe move these warriors back. This is hooked up. Uh, when do your borders grow? Uh, four turns. Uh, I mean, I guess go and just build a, a cottage here. This is a place where we're definitely going to have some food shortages. Food doesn't spread to our lands. I'm going to say yes, it is going to lead to a turn of anarchy. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. If it can keep spreading to us, we'll get more happiness. And it also makes us very friendly with India because we'll share the same religion. They'll be very pleased about that. You want me to cancel the deals with Khmer, who is your worst enemy? I'm going to say yes, because I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to develop a really strong friendship with India. So we'll cancel that. And Khmer is actually a pretty natural target for us. Um, where's this Korea? No, that's Khmer. So we could head straight south and plan to maybe war them. Let's settle over here. We'll build Canterbury. We're going to go Granary immediately. That's going to be fine. We'll get the Barbarian there. Yeah, money's going to go negative. That's okay. Oh, London, I keep forgetting. I want to run two scientists here. First of all, it'll give us some actual science, but then it'll start generating great people points so we can generate a great scientist in London. That's going to be huge. Yeah, then I'm going to come over here. We're going to chop that for a, um, a mine. Yeah, we're going to want some production boosts. I don't think we're short on health, but we may as well hook up the cattle for now. That's going to be okay. The city's definitely placed right there, which actually means I, I want to go and sit on this forest tile, but I thought maybe we get some vision. The okay, granary is done. I think we've got a plan for more warfare here, so we're going to go barracks. We're going to get ready to spam a bunch of military units. Axeman's going to be undone in time to challenge the spearmen, so that's good. Just head over here for a second. Um, you're fine. Okay, I'm move there. Just want to skirt around the city. London. London, we're going to keep pop 
pumping axes. Library is done here. We're gonna get you a barracks. And then we're gonna start pumping more military units. Uh, I think we'll probably build another axe over here too, just to make sure everything's okay. I would love to give you some city raider promotions, but I think short term, we'll give you combat one. And then maybe an anti-melee promotion as well. Just to make sure to stack those modifiers as much as possible. Hmm. Well, I'm going to chop that for a mine as well. Where did... Was there not a spearman running around right here? Did I just get confused with the one that was there? Maybe that's what it was. Okay, that's fine. I think I can send you over here. Oh yeah, we can improve the marble now. And yeah, so you're on flat land, you're easier to attack. Um, I'm going to give you the uh, the melee promotion, even though it's not really going to help, but it is going to heal you here. Now, if I just give you the city raider promotion, what are we looking at? Only 6%. Okay, we're going to stack some more units on there to go. You're going to do this. We can hurry a lot of units, so let's actually do that to the max here. Okay. Alphabet nearly done. Great scientist at some point. Yeah, we're going to keep going with axes. You've got your barracks. Great. You're going to join in that spam. Axes here. I mean, you're kind of far from the front, but you do already have a barracks. So no, let's let's pump up this military as much as possible. Um, barracks is done here. Good. Get an axe there too. And the plan is still going to go to take care of the barbarian city first. Although, <clears throat> we might want to rush Khmer before they get walls up. Ready for action. Waiting your orders. I'm gonna park you here. We might want to build one chariot just to counter enemy axes. Although for now this is gonna be fine. Yeah, fortify up there, just give us a little bit of a vision buffer. You sit there. Join the fun there. We might want to get some more roads just to move up here a little easier, but it's going to be okay. And yeah, let's go with everything everywhere. We might have to do a little happy management, but for now, this is going to be a fine way to do it. Um, you know, one chariot does have a bonus versus axes, and you get that. London, you're still working double scientists. Perfect. That's what we want to make sure to maintain. And over here, we can go and hook up this marble. And yeah, we don't have hunting, so I can't improve that. I think this will be another pretty good production city. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop and mine these hills, probably farm the flatlands. Mirror haven't converted. Oh, I don't have masonry. Oh! Silly me. Confucianism is founded, so someone's already got words of have laws. the power to both destroy and heal. When words are both true and kind. They can change our world. Definitely gonna have to meet military catch-up. Our military strength is pretty good. Um, let's go and trade with some of our buddies here. So we've got some tech. And yeah, I'm fine with trading away the alphabet for some catch-up here. Really? Now, it could be that he's most of the way to getting alphabet already. We don't actually have vision over his tech. Uh, what would you give me for this? Sailing and hunting. Yeah, let me get back to you here. There you go. Iron working and sailing for the alphabet. Okay, let's do it. You should hammer your iron you when it is blowing the hot. The wind, but you can adjust. Oh yeah, I broke off trade, trade, so I can't talk to you. Yep. Yeah, all right. 
We'll get us masonry. If you chase two rabbits, and hunting from their Both. foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Uh, we might go on that next turn here. Okay, let's start building some cottages. And I don't think you'll be needed over there. But let's send you in that direction anyway. Reporting for duty. Axeman done. Um, pyramids. Mm. If we did want to go into a specialist economy, that'd be a way to do it, but... Probably going to want to spam out more of these workers. That's going to be okay. I know I just moved you over there, buddy, but we're going to move you back right now. Okay. Three defensive units. We grab these guys. And the city raider. So when we get a good roll, we should be able to take in this turn. Uh, we lost. Did we lose all three 60% battles? That's incredibly disappointing. Yes. That's incredibly disappointing. Wow. We're gonna need another settler for this area pretty soon. Make sure we got some units around to fog bust. Uh, London, after you do that axe, you're gonna give me another settler. Seven turns to a great scientist, okay? Yeah, you could build the Moist Statues, and actually, you're probably a pretty good spot for it. Unless I want to keep focusing on military for our push. We're not going to have Catapults, which is going to make uh, the attack a little freaky-deaky, depending on what kind of defenses are to the south of us. But maybe we can just overwhelm them with raw numbers. Let's make Hastings maybe our rally point here. Well, I may not actually set it as a little rally point, but... Just go and sit there. And yeah, all you guys head down to Hastings. Done. Marble. And you'll also help build the marble. They can work together to build it twice as quick. Um, I'll give you the City Raider promotion because we're going to want a lot of units with that promotion later on. I suppose if we can get our iron, we can build Swordmen. Which will do fairly well. We could build one scout to finish scouting the, cat the, the, the territory. Actually, a spy might be a terrible idea. Especially, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to weight our espionage towards Khmer. It'll put all the points in that direction. And we could maybe do some cool spy stuff. Still some units moving in this direction here. That's oh, okay. Hastings borders finally expand. Get over here. Mind that. Fortify in place. Okay. You've got our marble, which is going to give us an extra happy everywhere because it's a luxury resource, which is nice. Um, am I going to start automating these guys for laziness? Let's see. London. We might want to go and cottage up tons of territory around here. Or just pre-chop for maybe a future wonder. Keep going with the axes. We want ludicrous... Oh, we'll get one spearman. We want ludicrous overwhelming forces. Especially if we don't have catapults around. Alright, you know what? I'm going to automate you because I want to focus on what's going on here. You can finish your chop. That'll get that granary going. And do I want to do... Yeah, I think... I think I was maybe not going to do the whipping as much in London, because population's dropped pretty heavily now. Get a great scientist in one turn. Okay, that's going to be fine. We just need one great scientist, and then we can take these specialists off. Really want to get these statues down but no we are we are prepping for this big war the spy is going to help we'll get a second spy actually spearing in place go for axes granary done now over on this front what we need is we need a little bit of culture pressure just to make sure everything's okay we may as well get the monument in one turn as well 
We've got hunting, so we can get this going on. So we build a camp here. We'll get ivory. We'll have to connect it to our network, but that's going to be fine. These things. Go from there. All right, I'm just going to throw these guys in automation because I'm incredibly lazy. Although we really would like to optimize, um, optimize things a little bit more. Um, wait at least one more turn before we go. There you go. So we got ourselves a great scientist. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove our specialists here just so that we can actually get some production going on in London. And our great scientist, um, we are going to want to build academies in places, which gives plus 50% science. But right now we're not even running any science. So we're just going to have you settle as a great scientist person here, which is going to give us some static science. There you go. You can see the drop in uh, the time over there. So we've got a trickle of tech still coming in. We should also double check to see if there's any other tech trading that can happen. You're not willing to talk to me, though. So the answer is currently new. And as far as settling, I want the iron, but it will theoretically drop into our borders at some point regardless. I think I'm going to do this. We can always backfill and put a city in the middle afterwards. And then it's going to be okay. All right, let's send a spy south here. Figure out what's going on in Khmer territory. And because we don't have um, catapults, it's going to be that much more important to maybe do the um, revolt encouragement in these cities. We're going to go uh, library here, mostly because it generates extra culture for us, which is good. Okay, I'm going to take this whole stack, move downwards, automate you. Easter Spy, we'll send you down that way. And that's probably city on a hill, which will be very difficult for us to... Um, overcome. All right. Rest of whippings. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to spam out a bunch more workers. Confucianism has spread. Hmm. Hmm. I'm I'm a little concerned about this attack. We've invested a bunch in it. We're the most powerful, yeah, no kidding. Yes, set up over here, Coventry. Yes, go for monument, because we need the border push. And we'll just put a warrior in there. Reporting for duty. Actually, yeah, let's not Waiting automate these order. guys. We're going to keep doing some manual chops and builds over here. Okay. Yeah, and we're kind of limited on overall happiness right now, so our cities can't grow that big. And while they're small, they grow back very quickly, so using the rush production is very good. Um... Maybe we want to build some more de like defensive units. We might want to send some more things to the front. Maybe I just get started again on some military stuff. Um, over here, we are going to go for the statues. Um, I want to build a settler from here too. Maybe. Oh, hold on. We're running at minus twelve right now without anything running. Oh, never mind. Um, put your production towards research. Yeah, everyone's going to have to do that. Yeah, we're going to have to go and get more cottages and things happening in these places. Uh, you do need farms, though. That's going to be quite clear. Uh, yeah, just go to research mode. And over here, London's food. I mean, you're going to need some farms. Let me do that. I mean, I'll move you down anyway here. You drop that. It's actually not going to give much production to London. Maybe I should have saved it. Do I want to declare war this turn? I kind of wanted my spies in position first, but I think I've got to YOLO this. 
We have been building quite a military, though. Um, you guys were in a, a group here. There you go. Alright. All cottages. down from here and we are, we're gonna chop for cottages yeah, huge financial deficit currently going on all right so we're just gonna yolo the heck out of this city here we're gonna grab everyone everyone who can get city raider promotion do that the um, withdraw chance we're gonna put in for a chariot here 64 percent seven oh my god bad luck I don't want to take the cities, but it is going to shoot things up. It's not a bad city location. I think we're going to keep it. Even though it is, it is not without risk. Awaiting your order. Come here. There. We do have swordsmen, but we're quite good at that. Um, I will leave one axeman behind for defense. Fortify up. You're going to wait there. Keep waiting there. Make your way this way, please. You guys are going to wait. You're going to cottage. We're going to wait a turn or two if we can to get a discount on our operation over here. I did put all my espionage towards him, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Not that we're generating that many. The 10% discount. discount we... Yeah, we're not going to attack this turn anyway, so... We don't have to do the espionage immediately. You'll wait there. You'll wait here. Everyone's going to move in there. So ideally, next turn would be the time to do it. Very dogs. Oh, right. Plus one money. That's okay. Suddenly, you're gonna wait. What now we are in a position where we can attack this turn. We'd like to get rid of this plus forty percent defense. So what we want to do is, ah, uh, we can't. We don't have enough of a discount and differential to be able to do the rebellion thing. These guys are on a hill and they're reinforcing. Hmm. If we were to go now. What are we looking at? 24%. How many units you got in there? Okay, I think we'll wait. We're going to try to do the espionage. To knock away that 40% defense modifier. Art for art's sake is an empty phrase. Art for the sake of truth. Art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. That is the faith that I am searching for. So this is a little bit dangerous because we might lose out on some wonders, but... Uh, what was the cost of poly? Why am I not getting it? Hmm. Not willing, huh? All right, we'll hold on to it. Um. Apparently, you were building one farm here. Okay, but I think the rest is going to be cottages. So you got a thirty percent discount now. No, we still can't do it. Really? I mean, the problem is we don't. Um. Okay, let me do this. I guess we weren't actually generating much in the way of espionage. Oh, no, I can't do this because we're still running at a huge deficit. Which is only getting worse as we take more cities, but... Maybe I should have moved here and pillaged this iron. Damn. Alright, steal some tech. Do not throw the arrow which and will return against you. Let's see what happens. We've been losing 62. 86 win. Yes, install a new governor. Yeah, go for a monument. Fortify up. Not sure we're going to be able to push any more than this. Okay, more 
cottages, please. Okay, we're only on a minus six, a minus four. Library is built over here, which is great. Let's get you walls. You're on a front line with theoretically a friend, but you never know. You're back. Great job, by the way, Mr. Spy. We're going to send you over here. Cottage like crazy. This place only has a 20% defense boost. It's on a hill, but... It's only got two archers in there. Actually, that's pretty good, but what we have to do is we're going to have to fortify until healed with this group. I'm going to automate new worker. You guys are all going to come in here. Yeah, so everyone here as a group collectively. What Actually, do does mean? the archer... No. Spearman, I should have given a different promotion. I like to give them combat and then medic one. Not at all similar are the race of the immortal gods and the race of men who walk upon the earth. All right, let's switch you over there. Well, I really do want literature as quick as possible. Yeah, okay, I'll leave you in production. That's going to have to be fine. Then anyone else who's doing something that can be rushed, which obviously the research people can't, we'll go ahead and do this. And cottage. And pasture. And cottage. Chops and give us some more tech. We do have marble for the double speed, which is nice. This isn't necessarily our ideal great person city, although we might just want to slam it down. Um, we could build a statue of Zeus. You know what? Let's start that in Canterbury. We're going to do some more chops as well, which is going to be good. Granary here for some extra growth is going to be nice. You got yourself your monument. We're going to want to go and build, um, let's see, maybe walls, but I was thinking more culture growing things. I don't know, maybe we do go walls over here. Probably with Kamir, what we actually want to do is consider a peace. Okay, they're demanding something back, which I'm definitely not willing to do. So we are going to have to go and threaten this area. Let me do a turn of maxed out espionage. Maybe two. Or at least um break even on money. When we're not when we're at zero percent right here, so we're gonna be stable. At your service. Okay, you guys are actually pretty fine. Let me leave the most heavily damaged guy behind. And the rest is gonna go over here. Yeah, you're just gonna sit tight. hope we can actually do the overthrow. That's why we're investing into the, uh, the science here. Or the, um, the espionage. Alright, we gotta drop that down now. Still running a deficit, but that should be okay with everything else that's going on. Alright. Wait, did my spy get kicked out of the city? Oh, for crying out loud. I mean, it's only a 20% difference, but that's... Alright, let's go. Ah! Right, let's go. 64? We haven't won a single one of those. 66? Okay. 50-50. Ooh, didn't down to 25% again. Hmm. Any chance? No? Alright, let's just stay parked outside the city and maybe you'll change your mind at some point. You moved a unit out. That's interesting. Reporting for duty. Oh, you're still in pretty good shape. This place is going to want some extra food to be able to run all these farms. That's what we're looking for. All right, literature done in one turn. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. We need to start getting... So currency for this, uh, for the uh, the market, and then metal casting for the forge. These are very key buildings that we're going to want to have running. Um, let me go and just... Anyone who's doing research, I'm just going to put an axe for a second here. And then what I want to do is all my cities, if I put you... Make sure you're in automated mode. Turn on Epsis production. Who's got the best production rate? Actually, Canterbury, who's building the statue of Zeus right now. 
All right, tell you what, London, I'm gonna go and build the Great Library there. And turn off production focus. It, it is showing 32 hammers in London because they are getting double the production rate. Wow, five turns right now. You had a lot of overflow banked. In fact, we might be able to just do a population sack next turn to finish that, which will be huge for us. I guess if anything, you're gonna come back over here there, buddy. Yeah, we actually have a strength disadvantage compared to the Khmer now. Um, you want literature for monotheism. Um, when priesthood. Now, we can probably beat him to the, uh, the Great Library, which is important here, so I'm going to accept this offer. Let's start building um, temples for happiness. So I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to go... I like to have three archers per city. It seems like a pretty good defensive number to me. So I'm going to start that. Then we can move our other military units to the front. You got yourself your monument. I do want the library for culture push, but we'll get the walls up. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have the no Lord other bless gods you and before keep me. You. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious. It's funny when he talks over himself. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Your archer's building. So what I'm going to do with these guys is move them out. We might be able to do one more push. Yes. I don't know if I we have any so. other axes parked anywhere. Well, there's some in the north. Well, one in the north, I suppose. Uh, bonus birth rate in all cities. I mean, I guess let's give it a go. We can get ourselves the Parthenon. I think I accidentally right clicked on it there for the Civilopedia. Come on down. Wait there. People will trade monarchy. Ooh. Some Korea. No, not well enough. Um, I'm not just going to give you monotheism. I'm going to want you to trade me for it, buddy. And, yes, go and replace that. Temple, archer, granary, walls, walls, great library. I mean, it's going to be done in one turn anyway. But yeah, you've got some unhappiness. We may as well. That's only one pop, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Get more overflow. That's great. Wait, didn't I start the Parthenon somewhere else? Maybe I changed my mind. Okay, Granary is done. Go library for culture. Same thing here, library for some culture on the front. You got your walls. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Did my spy get booted again? They must have a defensive spy in that city. All right, um, since that's clearly not going to work out, let's go and just rebalance this so our espionage goes equally. And we do have protective, so our archers are going to be stupendously good at defending. All right, go be automated. I do have it set my automated workers don't chop for us or replace improvements, which I think is very important. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three archers here. And we'll be happy to clear out some units. I keep moving here to sort of threaten this location. Can't reinforce from outside. So I'm going to want to keep some manual ones to do the chops where I want chops to happen. And the statues got rushed. That's good. And we do want our population to grow at some point. So now we got, because of the statues, we got plus one production in the sea tiles. We definitely want to pair this with a lighthouse so that the sea tiles are self-sustaining and in great shape. You do have some unhappiness, but you might just have to deal with it. Oh, we should start getting some swords maybe to do a push. Um, so yeah, here what I want is lots of farms so that we can work all these uh, mines and have things go kind of okay. 40%. Give it one more try. 
You have to get really lucky for it to work out. Technically, the um, chariot, or yeah, still has um, one turn of healing to do. All present unaccounted for. I don't have money to promote you, but I'm still going to run you to the front because it can maybe make a bit of a difference. Reporting still worried about barbarians spawning here and causing issues, but I'm going to bring you down for now. I don't think you'll get there in time to be relevant, but we'll see. We're still building some units. Could wait until we get our swords in place. Curiosity, if you guys were promoted this way, 2%. And then this stack over... Oops, I tabbed out. We got a 40% there. We'd have to get very lucky. Oh, it's 40% to survive because of the retreat. Yeah, I don't think we can take it. I kind of just want to peace out with these guys. You'd be willing to white peace now. I think that's worth doing. I don't think we can do anything else without catapults, so we'll just wait. Well, I'm going to throw a ton of units into that city. We're going to want a few more over here, too, which you can't reach because of the culture. That might be a bit of an issue there. And cottage, please. What do you need? Yeah, I guess we're still gonna send some units down here. Hold the fence, we'll go. Okay, money's actually Ready slightly positive action. right now, which is nice. And we do again have some passive science gain. Uh, when London finishes the Parthenon, I'll probably throw in some science specialists again, just to generate a little bit more raw science. We might want to run a bunch of scientists in a few places, actually. Swordman is done. Let's get the temple for some happy. I think what we might do is start just working science in places. I always flip this tile. No, I think you're going to be okay food-wise. More cottages is going to have to be okay then. All right. Sword come down over here. We do have the best score, which is nice. Alright, you've got yourself your three archers. Let's start researching science. It's gonna be fine. Surprised that's not leading to scientists being produced. But the game has calculated this is the best way to do it. Well, plus presumably continue to grow, so it's gonna be okay. Uh farm please. And we should be fine. All those tiles are gonna break even. A bunch of these break even. You've got a couple of food sources. Yeah, we can just go and drop some more cottages in this area. Super protector and done. Fortify on the front lines. Concerned about the situation there, but Parthenon is done. Um, our capital is going to be our uh, great person birth rate place, so we'll build a national epic there. This is a national wonder, so you can everyone gets to build one. You have a limit of two or three per city. I can't remember, um, but yeah, we want the national epic here. Uh, I don't think we have to rush it, so I can probably just throw in a couple extra scientists. That's going to be fine. We'll get a great people a little bit faster, but overall a little bit more passive science, which is going to be important. Um, civic wise, no, we'll stick with slavery for now, even though it's going to start becoming more and more of a disadvantage. At some point, we do want our cities to grow, but for now, I think this is still the way we need to go. Lighthouse done. You might as well build this, I guess. Yeah, go for library. We're going to want it everywhere. Temple for happiness and also some cultural pressure at the front line is not a bad idea. You are going to be a military building, but it, um, you know what? I will build the barracks there. I'm going to want you to build your own archers. Okay, library is done. How is the answer is about 8%, which is partially because we don't have a lot of units here. Um, Hopefully we get some cultural pressure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up some archers, which I realize is going to build very slowly right now, but we're going to do that. 
and we can reinforce by sea if we'd have to build transports. The one thing I, that that's disappointing about Civ 4 compared to the later ones is that we do have to build transport boats in this game, which is uh, would be nice to not have to do that. Uh, I guess we may as well build some barracks here at the front. I think that'll prove to be useful. Okay. Yeah, go for the whip still. Money is positive, which is great. Uh, let's build some walls over here. I mean, that'll obviously not last very long, but we'll run it there anyway. Putting a little bit of progress towards currency. Barracks done. So yeah, probably just more culture pushes. Actually, hold on. Barracks done. We're going to go for... Uh, three archers here on the front line. Yeah. Okay. And over here, you'll finish that cottage. Push the pressure towards the National Epic. That's good. Walls there. Okay. Temple. Happiness. Cultural pressure. And... Done. Who needs force anyway, right? Totally... Force and nature totally overhyped. No one cares about that. Gonna cost four. You know what? That's fine. Although, because the cities are now getting bigger and bigger, bouncing, recovering that population from this is starting to become more and more painful. Okay, currency in one turn. Um. Actually, why don't you go ahead and get yourself your three archers that I kind of like everywhere as a baseline not going to be enough to hold off like a dedicated attack anywhere but it's it, it's enough to stop like a little tiny casual thing and give us time to respond i guess we may as well get the monuments everywhere barracks done there well probably the same thing we spilled a few archers so that when we move out this attack force there's still something left in that city that's gonna be okay all right you done did that So I've got a bunch on automated. What I want to do is just keep an eye on places where I'm going to want to go and um, manually cut some horse and things. Jungle will get automatically cut. That's fine. Cottaging here. Go back to some automation. Now, we got ourselves another great scientist. We got a few possibilities. We could use it to light bulb mathematics right away. We use it to get a golden age, which I don't think so. I think what we do right now is build an academy. And we'll build it in London. There should be decent tech right here, especially with the specialist running. I mean, I could just go and drop another great scientist, but we'll want an academy at some point. So let's get that started. And we're probably going to want academy in our top two or three commerce Everything cities. Everything is worth what its purchaser will pay for it. All right, what we want now is we want to market everywhere. That's gonna help our economy hugely. So Nottingham, which is just on research, we're gonna go and do this. Um, and then basically every other city, I'm going to, I guess I'll just shift click. We'll queue the market after whatever you're currently doing. But we're gonna add it in a queue everywhere. Uh, I might want to leave the trees here for lumber mills later because we're going to count on the production in Canterbury. I'm just going to automate you then. We get this warrior here. In theory, if we get some cash, we might go and start promoting these guys. So we'll move them into our offensive stack. Tell me what Same to thing do. with you over here. You can keep them around non-promoted. They still provide police services when you get Matthew, for service. example. Let's get you in position. All right, fortify there. Fortify here. Fortify there. Good stuff. And yeah, we get slight money, positivity. I'll lower this down. You kind of... Uh, uh, switching this uh, slider back and forth can be really useful early on. If you want a bit of a bank, because there's some events that want money. Speaking of money, currency for monarchy. Um, Yeah, I'm kind of in favor of getting monarchy here. Okay. And you'll give me a bit of cash. A multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler, so one king. Hereditary rule lets us get happy face for military units. This alleviates the happiness cap on cities, so we can cities can grow. So this is kind of when we want to make the move off of slavery and pick up hereditary rule. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one last round at rushing anything that can be rushed. 
guess I could have just bulk selected from the, uh, the city screen. Okay, everything that can be rushed has been rushed. We're going to take the turn of anarchy. That's okay. Hereditary rule. We'll drop slavery. We'll pick up organized religion. We are going to get two turns to the revolution. You know what? I won't go organized religion yet. We don't have, um, you know, Judaism spread everywhere yet, so we're not necessarily going to get the, uh, the faster building bonus. And we actually don't care about building the missionaries. So we'll just do this. Revolt out of slavery. Luckily, we didn't get any slave revolts as well, which is really good, because you start to get that as a bit of an issue as the game goes on. Food, you got the farm there. Yeah, little cottage. When in doubt, cottage. Okay, anarchy's over. So now we should have no happiness cap limit on any of our cities. Um, what I'm going to do is we'll make sure that we're all back on the normal mode. Some, something had a specialist science specialist, but now everything should be set to the default automation level, which is what we're looking for. If anyone becomes unhappy, we can just build some extra military units for them now. Done, done, done. Our cities will grow bigger, will become more powerful, will work more cottages, which will be great for our economy. Boom, boom. Okay. The markets are going to come in. That's going to generate hugely more cash. It's also pretty good for some happiness. Score continues to be pretty good on our, can um, our uh, continent here. You want... Currency, huh? What will you give me for this? Meditation and mathematics. Sure. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack I mean, of meditation. It's kind of a backfill, but that's okay. We're going to want to be able to build monsters. Know well at some point. what leads you forward. If in other science, and more from chopping. We did maybe over chop before we got mathematics, but I think that's still error. fine. It behooves us to place the foundation. That's some money. We could promote or upgrade you to a new unit, but we're not gonna. We're just gonna bank it, and then what we can do is we can move the slider around as need be. For now, let's just keep accruing some cash. And clear that. Help boost the market. And clear this. Help boost your market. Fortify over here. Fortify you. Okay. Man. Um, so yeah, we're ahead on tech against two of our neighbors. They do have a couple of things I don't have. But Asuka's gotten a lot of tech boost, which makes sense. I think they've been in a pretty peaceful situation. They got a pretty good start. That's done. Just go be on auto. Yeah, these markets are going to be huge for us. Verify where you are. Do I want to leave this... Um, I mean, I want to chop this at some point. We might want to build a windmill there later, which is a pretty strong building, but for now, I think it's probably fine for us to clear and mine it. I mean, I could do some pre-chops for some sort of wonder timing, but I think right now, just like accelerating lots of other things we're doing is probably okay. Does anyone have metal casting already? What's the icon for metal casting? Um, is this one here, right? So no, so we should, yeah, can research. So if we get metal casting, we should be able to trade uh, with Asuka some more. They're like, that's a nice thing with them being a friend to us, it's gonna be good. Okay, so we could light bulb compass, which again, might be good for trade. I don't know, I think the thing to do is to have you do more things for us. Now, right now, okay, if I were to go to 100% science rate, who makes the most science for us? London makes sense. York would be second most, York and Hastings. York is actually going to be pretty good with tech. I'm wondering about dropping an academy there. It's either I drop the academy in York now, or I do one more great person, like just a scientist to join the city for a static amount of generation. The academy will be worth more in the long run, but of course, early snowballing is super valuable. And especially with right now our economy being a little bit wonkily, we might need the static amount. I'm kind of tempted. I think I'm going to have you join the city for now. An extra unit. You probably still have some rule chance. It has gone down some. It's becoming more English, which is helpful as well. Yeah, but the borders aren't beautiful. Um, we may as well get these monasteries up. They'll give us the tech boost early on, which is very helpful, especially here in our capital. Enable all bridges and civics. Um, how much I need that. I don't have the gold for the speed boost. We'll probably live without it. We'll go ahead and get the monastery, though. I think that's okay. If I were to go and boost this, oh, 
Metal casting in two turns. Like so. We're on a slight deficit. That's fine. Barbarians over there should be okay. I think I do maybe want to drop a few more settlements. But maybe wait until the money gets fixed up a bit before that. Although, yeah, Asuka expanding over here is a little freaky deaky. I don't know if I can be friends with them forever. And them that take so we the want a metal casting for the forge. By the sword. Now, what's the next big beeline target? Well, machinery, I mean, crossbows are excellent. Watermills and windmills, we might want to actually replace some of the things we've got for those. We could also go construction, build a bunch of catapults, and go against Khmer again. That might be a super strong play. Um, the other thing we could consider is we could go machinery into civil service and get macemen and do a push that way. Okay, let's push up to engineering, actually. Start building trebuchets, which also needs machinery. So it's going to be machinery, construction, engineering, then civil service. The idea being we will um, we will start building some trebuchets and then upgrade some of our units to macemen, and that'll get, kind of be a good go timing. Uh, okay, still do that. That's going to be fine. And trade-wise, I offer you metal casting. I mean, we've got some of our own money. Can we pick up something? I'm going to trade for construction because it's on the it's part of our current war goal. It's one of the techs on our way. And on the pedestal, we could start building catapults, but I think I'll probably just use my the name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Most advanced civilization. Ooh, number five now. That's not great. All right, forges. Actually, do I want to put the forges in front of things in most places? I don't know. Maybe we'll just we'll keep the queues going where they are, and that's going to have to be okay. Although, maybe we'll put it above the market. So forge there. Market into forge is fine. Yeah, I just if anything was like... It's going to take a little while for that market to be done. Well, I guess it's just your production is not very good here. Okay, put it after. After is fine. Okay, I'm going to put it in front of this market. And in front of this one, although you just have you just have issues. But yeah, the production boost... It's because of the revolution here. Um, the production boost from forges is massive. Barbarians dealt with. Let me... We can't sustain this rate for three turns. Let me just kill the science rate, for, or the, yeah, the science rate for now. Just bank it again. We're getting enough passive research, which is helping a lot. London's actually not running science specialists right now. We should really be, I'll put you on great person focus specifically to automate it. Because we actually want you to be pumping out great people of any kind. And ideally, scientists is probably the case. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. We're going to continue this next time. 